Hey guys, welcome back to Hypertora. I've got my Tokyo treat box here for uh, July. So it's uh, arrived a little bit earlier this month than it did last month, which is uh, pretty great because uh, this is on early shipping at the moment. So it, I think this one took about three weeks to arrive. Um, though usually, I, if I'm lucky, I get them within two weeks, but sometimes up to six weeks if you're unlucky. Um, before I open this up, there was a few things I forgot to mention in last month's um, video is that Tokyo Treat now actually do uh, some extra options for their delivery um, so that you can choose if you really want to you can get uh, delivery insurance uh, so that your box is insured if it goes missing um, they also now do uh, delivery tracking as well um, they're add-ons so you have to pay extra for them um, unfortunately if you're like me and you've prepaid a year or two in advance you when you add those add-ons on you have to add it on for every month uh, that you're already subscribed at the moment so if you're pre-subscribed two, three years, uh, if you've gone and got a few of those uh, uh, promotions they've done, you've got to then prepay for three years worth of uh, tracking or three years worth of insurance. You can have one or the other or both. Uh, it's entirely up to you, but at the moment they don't give you the option of saying, all right, I want to tap this on for the next few months. Uh, you have to do it for the remainder of your current subscription that's been paid for, uh, which is a bit of a pain uh, because it's quite a lot of money up front if you've got a large, uh, pre-book on there, but otherwise if you're on a monthly subscription then it's probably reasonably uh, easily manageable. Um, yeah, let's open this up and see what we've got inside. Now they've teased a few items uh, online for this, which I'm excited uh, from what I've seen. So I think it's gonna be pretty cool. Uh, so that's looking pretty cool already. This month's box is Life's a Beach. Uh, so that's uh, looking pretty funky. I can see some Doritos and stuff there. Uh, but let's open this up on our snack menu uh, just so I can see what we've actually got in here uh, without having to try and badly translate anything because my Japanese is terrible. Um, so first up we'll go straight in there we got some Doritos which look like sour cream and onion flavoured um, from what I can see that's right. Uh, like last month this seems like an item that you could probably get elsewhere. I know we can get this kind of stuff in uh, Pringles in the UK, although I have to admit I haven't, don't think I've seen sour cream and onion Doritos. So that would be something interesting to try out actually. So that might be a unique flavour for Japan, uh, although it seems like a common flavour so you may find it in other countries. Um, but that's from our premium box. Next up, this looks pretty cool. Uh, we've got some sort of ice cream, mint ice cream, chocolate chip ice cream candy. So this is from the classic box and it says chocolate mint candy. Um, so these little hard candies have a chocolatey mint outside and are filled with a uh, chilled powder centre. Um, so that, that'd be interesting to try out. I wonder if sometimes you get things like this, you can uh, refrigerate or freeze them. Uh, but considering it's hard candy, that might not be possible. Next up, we've got some hula hoop style things here, which are from our Classic box, uh, so crushed Pateco four pack. We've had these things before. Um, they're very familiar. I recognise the branding on these. Um, so I don't know how long ago we had this kind of stuff, um, but sometimes they're not always in multi packs like this. Um, and they don't actually say nowadays whether these are the share packs or the party packs. Um, but yeah, I, think they, I, w I do wonder whether they're different flavours based on the colours, but I have a feeling they might all be the same. Um, yeah, it just says four packs, so I think they're all the same. Next up, we have, it's uh, pretty funky, a uh, uh, Sugar Rusk uh, from the Classic Box. Um, so these look like they're savoury, but they say they're gonna be sweet and sugary, so that'd be interesting to try out. This, they almost look like tiny little cut up baguettes, so that'd be something different to try. But I don't think we've had something like that before, so that's new. Next up, we got some soda chewing candy, which I imagine are Ramune flavoured, um, if I can find these. So, oh yeah, these are from the classic box, and they just say soda soft candy. Um, so, that'd be pretty cool. Um, so, there's a hint of lemon, refreshing soda taste, and I'm assuming the soda taste is normally Ramune. Uh, Ramune, if I can say that right. Next up, we have some bubble gum, uh, super soft sour flavor and free peach bubble gum. So this is from the classic box. This looks familiar, I think we've had something similar before, a long time ago. 
Um, if I remember, it's like chewing gum and it's got a kind of peachy, uh, gooey centre. Um, and if I remember rightly, it's been a long time, I think, if we have had these. They're really nice. Um, so I'm looking forward to having those. Next up, we have some gummies by the look. So we got some Ampan Man grape gummies. Uh, I absolutely love grape flavouring as well as the melon flavouring that we get in Japan. Uh, so I'm absolutely loving to look forward to these because I love all the sort of sweet uh, candies um, over the savoury candy. So this is my favourite thing, especially gummies. Next up, we've got... I'm not entirely sure what this is. The colour on it makes me reminds me of the sauce you get on um, the octopus balls in Japan. Um, so this is from the premium box, and it says Texas corn uh, okono miyaki, if I pronounce that right. Um, so soft corn sack inspired uh, by the Japanese dish, which I won't try and pronounce again. Um, so it's similar to a pancake. Uh, made with mixture ingredients including cabbage, egg, meat, cheese, onion, seafood. So that's something different we haven't had before. So that would be interesting to try out. Uh, next up we have, this looks a little bit like some version of uh, kind of Pocky. Um, this is from the classic box and it's a mini chocolate bat. So it looks like we got some chocolate baseball bats which I imagine will be similar to uh, Pocky sticks which are covered in chocolate. Uh, so we'll tell what that's like when we open that up in a minute. Next up we got our Omaibo. Uh This is uh, tonkatsu sauce. Uh, so I think it's what you get when you order deep fried pork cutlets in Japan. I cannot remember what that tastes like so that would be interesting. Um, we do get one of these in every box but they're all different flavours which kind of keeps it interesting which is uh, quite nice. Next up we have um, this looks like a DIY candy. So we've got cider soft serve DIY snack. Um, that's really cool. So it looks a bit like an ice cream uh, pack. But we've had one of these in the last few months, I think, not very long ago, where we had mixed this up into a foam and put it in the cone. Um, I'm just hoping that the fact it says cider, it means it's a different flavour. Um, cider in the UK is usually an alcoholic uh, apple beverage, but uh, I think elsewhere it's usually... Um, some sort of soft drink, I cannot remember. I think it's apple, um, but it's got a lemon kind of picture on the front there, so I'm not sure what it's gonna be like. Up next, we have some sort of sherbet dip. So this is also a sherbet uh, cider. So I don't know if it, uh, what flavoring cider is in Japan, so that'd be interesting to try out. The coloring makes me think of Ramune. Um, so yeah, we, we've had some sort of sherbet dips in the last few months as well, uh, but that looks different from the one we've had. And then our final two items, we've got our premium peach mint from a premium box. Um, so this is one of the items they teased online that I've been looking forward to. Uh, the peach sounds absolutely amazing. I'm not sure what it's gonna be like with the mint, so that's gonna be an interesting tryout. And I absolutely love that we get these in a big pack so that, uh, and with lots of mini ones on the inside, so you can, give a couple away to friends if you want them to try out or family members without giving away your whole bag and then it, they last you a little while as well if you manage to spread them out. Um, so I actually love that the Kit Kats come in packs like that. And then our final item, um, which is pretty cool. I always say that one of my favorite drinks in Japan is either grape soda or melon soda. Um, so this is a little bit different because this is a melon cream soda, uh, which is, um, a slightly creamier melon soda. I still prefer normal melon soda to this uh, from last time I tried this, um, but it, this is pretty cool. It's basically a melon soda with an ice cream float, uh, which they do in Japan. You can get them in McDonald's, uh, which was uh, pretty amazing when I was there last time. You get a big drink and then they go and put a load of ice cream in the top of it, uh, which you don't tend to get in places in the UK. Uh, I've never seen anywhere that does that in the UK. I'm sure there's some places, but not big chains. Uh, so that'd be pretty cool to try out. And that's everything that's inside this box, and we're now empty. So I'll actually move on to opening some of these up, and I'll start with the drink as usual. I love it's in the can. Oh, it fizzes up. And what I love about Japan and the melon sodas is compared to the UK, they tend to be, uh, you can probably see the, from, the, from the foam there, they're quite green in color. Um, the uh, melon soda that I had from the uh, vending machines when I visited Japan were bright green. 
Uh, and anything I can get imported to the UK is not quite as green, uh, which is always disappointing because it feels like it's less flavoured. Um, but yeah, I can smell the melon soda in that, which is really nice. That's pretty cool. Um, it uh, tastes more of melon soda. I can't quite get too much of a hint of cream in there. There is a slight hint in the aftertaste. Um, which I think takes the kind of strong melon soda flavour and sort of dulls it down a little bit. But that's quite a nice drink. Um, I think it's my favourite drink we've had for a little while. Um, so that's pretty cool. Absolutely love that. And uh, I'll finish that very quickly later on. Um, next up we'll try out these uh, Texas corn snacks. So these are little puff balls. It smells from in here. I want to say barbecue, but I don't quite think it's barbecue. Definitely not barbecue. Uh, it smells familiar to me, but I can't quite put my finger on what it reminds me of. But they're really nice, they're quite savoury. Um, quite moorish as well. So that, they'll go down quite well. Uh, next up we've got our, what I'm going to assume is our share pack. Because one of these is the share, one of these is the party pack. Um, they used to sort of say in the booklet they don't anymore. Um, so let's tear one of these off. As far as I can tell, these are all the same. So they're like little mini hula hoops if you have hula hoops in your country. So the little potato chips that are in little circles. And they're really nice. If you're in the UK or somewhere similar that has hula hoops, these taste exactly the same. They're just a little smaller, which is pretty funky. Um, and I haven't had hula hoops in the UK in a very long time. I don't think I've actually seen them around the shops um, like I used to. So that's a nice take back actually as well. Um, next up we have our Imaibo, which is the Tonkatsu sauce. It's got a reasonable smell to it. Quite a nice flavouring actually. It's uh, hard to describe again, but it's uh, quite a strong flavour. It's not weak, but it uh, over actually uh, takes control of the flavouring over the uh, actually mybo stick in there, uh, which sometimes the plain corn I, I find um, not always that nice. Um, so that's pretty cool. Next up, we've got our chocolate back pocky style things. So. Inside here we have lots of different packets. Oh, so they're not like Pocky, they're entire sticks. So the outside made me think it was gonna look like Pocky. Um, so that's entirely different there. So we've got several of these individually packaged. In fact, they said bats, I thought they were gonna have handles, but it's a like a little chocolate log. I expected that to be a crunchy inside, but it's actually quite soft. Uh, it, it maybe looks a little bit like cake, but it isn't cake. It's almost like um, bread or a sort of stale cake, um, slightly, uh, in terms of texture. Uh, it's a bit different, actually. I wasn't expecting that to be like that, so that's interesting. Um, if you get that box, it's definitely worth a try. Comment down below, let me know what you thought of that. Next up, we have... Uh, um, what are these ones on here? So our sugar rusks. So this is one big pack. It's not individual on the inside. Smell, smell buttery, which is usually the things that I don't like about these, even though they're sweet. I'm not never too keen on the strong buttery smell. Um, so they look like little mini baguettes that have been cut up uh, at angles. It's sweet, but there's definitely a um, overpowering kind of butter taste to that, which I'm not too sure about. Um, personally, uh, I think if it was a little bit sweeter, I might get over that, but I think for me, that's a little bit too buttery in taste. Um, next up, I'll show you the dip. 
probably won't eat too much of this though because it is a lollipop. So we've got a powder in there and then we've got a lollipop. To me that's just um, Rimune flavoured. Um, if you think it's different, do comment down below. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty nice. I think we've had something similar to that uh, a few months ago. So that's quite interesting to try out. Uh, next up we have our sour cream onion Doritos in the premium box, if I can get them open. That's quite nice and strong. So it's not too bad amount in there. Um, most of these are rare, which is reasonably good for shipping, but not great for quantity. That's quite a strong uh, sour cream flavour, but it's really nice. Uh, unlike Pringles, you've got the different texture, so I think um, these would be something I would actually buy in a shop if I uh, had them available to me. So they're really nice, um, and I think they're a little bit nicer than the normal Doritos uh, we get in the UK. So that's pretty funky, uh, and something nice and different to try out. Next up, we've got our ice cream mint chocolate chip candy. Now I imagine these might be individually packaged. Yeah, so we've got lots of small packages in there. And if I can open this up. Yeah, so they're little hard candies. I don't want to eat this whole thing because it would take me ages. But that's um, definitely chocolate mint ice cream, you get the uh, taste of the uh, mint ice cream in there straight away and then I think there's little bits of chocolate in there as well for flavouring uh, which look pretty cool. So that, that was really nice. Um, next up we've got our uh, bubble gum. Now these are quite, they've got a kind of slightly harder shell but they're quite squishy and on the inside there's a nice kind of juicy peach centre and these are really nice. Mm. That's quite sour. Oh, I wasn't expecting that to be so sour. Mm. So um, the peach flavouring is really nice. I wasn't expecting the centre of that where I opened it up to be so sour. It's still getting me now. So while I think we may have had bubblegum like that before, we certainly haven't had one that sour from what I remember. So that is definitely different. That's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, let's move on to the next thing because um, I don't think I want to eat one of those um, too much on camera. So these look pretty similar, um, but they're chewing candy, so I don't know if that means they're also chewing gum. Uh, so it's just a soft candy. Um, so it has a hint of lemon. So. It's pretty cool, it's definitely not gum. It's nice and soft, which I like. I prefer chewy uh, candies which aren't too hard on your teeth. But th that's pretty cool. That, that is uh, Ramune flavored with a hint of lemon. Um, so yeah, that, that was pretty cool actually. Um, I love snacks like those in these boxes. Uh, next up, we have our Kit Kats. So we got a bunch of these in here. And then, Nice uh, premium packaging, which looks pretty cool as well. Peach mint. So it definitely, it smells like mint chocolate ice cream. Uh, mint ice cream, straight off the bat. I think I do get a hint of sweet peach in the smell, and just a hint. It's quite a nice mix actually. Um, the mint itself isn't too strong, so you can actually taste the peach in there. And looking at this, you can see sort of the bits of peach inside the uh, Kit Kat there. Um, it's really nice. You do get the mint aftertaste. I think the, the mint is the strongest thing in there, but it's not so strong that the peach isn't overpowered. And I think it'd be really interesting to try a Kit Kat with just the peach in it, because that kind of peach 
and the nectar flavoring peach uh, in Japan is really nice and quite refreshing. Um, so that's a really nice Kit Kat. Um, next up, before we do our DIY, is our great yummy candies. And I absolutely love these things. That's why I've sort of left it to just before the DIY. Um, they smell absolutely amazing. I absolutely love the smell of uh, grape gummies. Um, it smells better than normal grapes to me. Um, now, it seems that the plastic packaging on this is a bit fragile. Which is a little bit annoying because I don't really want to eat that. So if you get this, you might want to be careful. I don't know if this is where it's been the heat or something. This doesn't really want to come off. It might sort of come off there. So you might have to sort of use a bit of water on this. I, I don't think it's edible. Uh, I think it's plastic, unless it's some sort of starch coating. I'm not entirely sure. I'm going to try it as it is anyway. That's really cool. I absolutely love the flavour of that. I'm not entirely sure what this backing is meant to be. I think it's plastic, um, but it's tearing really easily. So I don't know if that's where it's been travelling for a couple of weeks and the heat and temperature changes has sort of played with it a little bit. So I don't think you'd really want to eat this backing. So if you can get it off carefully, I try to do that. Unless there's something um, in the instructions on the packaging, uh, but I doubt that. But our last thing is our DIY candy. And these ones are pretty simple. We have a little spoon, a little mixture of powder, and then our ice cream cones. So this, I think we've had this recently, but it may be but it's a different flavor. Um, I absolutely hope it is a different flavor. And, and then thanks to our little booklets here, um, this is now volume 43, which means I've been getting Tokyo Treat for a while because I've had Tokyo Treat be since before these booklets. Because they used to send these and didn't really tell you much about what the things were or how to do the DIYs. I think you used to have maybe a sheet with this stuff on it. But you, you were left to guess for yourself based on the images for the DIYs. So it's absolutely great, but they now have been doing these for the last few years. So, to do this we want to empty our powder sachet into the tray, there's quite a bit there. And the little granules, uh, which is pretty cool, I hope you can see that on the camera there, before they go everywhere. And then we want to pour water into the powder and stir it well. So it's just two tablespoons of water. I didn't bring a tablespoon with me, so I'm sort of gonna eye this up, because they seem to have eyed it up on there. I think that's more than plenty, if I haven't overdone that. And then you want to mix this round and it will go nice and foamy. There's definitely a Ramune uh, smell to that. Okay. So I think I may have put a little bit too much water in that. But if I scoop this into the comb and turn it into a little ice cream, like so. so I may have overdone it with the water, but hopefully not too much. It sort of resembles an ice cream there, but it's melting. So that's pretty cool. And it's definitely got a Ramune taste to it. I think there's a bit of hint of lemon in there as well, um, which is pretty cool. Um, I wouldn't say it's anything like apple, which is what you might think it is in the UK, um, but elsewhere, I know it's somewhere else. Uh, do comment down below. Um, if you know the best comparison for that, uh, because of my nationality, makes it uh, cider always thinking of uh, alcoholic apple beverages. Um, yeah, uh, that's everything in this box. I um, hope you enjoyed the box. Please do comment down below and let me know what your favourite items were. If you get this box and you try them out, let me know what uh, was the best tasting for you, what you prefer. Um, also, don't forget down in the description below, if you want to get this box and it's your first time, there is a discount code down there as well, which you can use. Uh, to get, I think, up to $5 off your first box if you're getting the premium. Um, has to be your first box because they do check that. And there's also a discount code down there as well if you use the Japan Hall site, which is where Tokyo Treat put some of the stuff that they um, have left over after the boxes uh, for sale. Um, so you can get all sorts of drinks and snacks on there as well as uh, plushies and other things on there as well, which is pretty cool. Um, so go down in the description if you want a uh, code for that as well. 
But other than that, thanks for watching. Please do hit the like button down below. And please do subscribe if you want to see more unboxing videos. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time.